News of her win is still surreal for Kim Hegvik. I'm still trying to let it all kind of sink in that it actually happened. And while she says there's quite the learning curve ahead of her, she's excited to hit the ground running. There is so much more potential that the state's attorney's office has than just taking cases through the criminal justice system. When we look at cases, not only looking at what we should be charging, but also how do we want the, the case to resolve. Hegvik says, of course, the ultimate goal is to make the community a safe place to live, work, and raise families. But says when more than 90% of those sent behind bars will come back out, there needs to be a larger focus to ensure local jails and prisons aren't a revolving door. People are, are coming out of incarceration and they're going back to what they know and we haven't tried to address any of the underlying reasons for their behavior. I don't know why we would expect any other result. But Hedvig emphasizes her approach doesn't mean she's soft on crime. There are people who the only way for our community to be safe is for those people to be incarcerated. All of this, Hedvig says she knows will take time for both the office and the community to adopt and adjust to, adding she's thankful and eager for the opportunity ahead. Bailey Hurley, Family News Live. Hedvig will be the second ever female Cass County State's Attorney. She adds there will be growing pains in the office as people were split in their support of her and her competitor, Ryan Youngren. Despite this, she says she's optimistic the office can start fresh and rebuild together.